Assalamu alaikum. This video is for class 3. Subject is English and this is our 10th lesson. Today we will continue the same unit, unit number 4, Animal News. And in this unit we will cover some lessons. Unit 4, lesson 4, question number 1, 2 and 3. Unit 4, lesson 5, question 1 and 2. Unit 5, lesson 1, question 1, 2 and 3. And unit 5, lesson number 2, question number 1. Pages 22, 23, 24 and 25. Let's begin our today's lesson. And students, your homework starts from here. Question number 1 is, read and circle the answer you think is correct. Point number 1. The tallest elephant is about 8 meters tall, B 4 meters tall, C 2 meters tall. The correct option is 4 meters tall, B. The elephant is the largest living land mammal in the world. A male elephant can grow up to 4 meters in height. Ok, point number 2 is the longest type of snake is about 10 meters long, 8 meters long or 3 meters long and the longest snake is 10 meters long. Students, the reticulated python is the world's longest snake. These snakes are found in Southeast Asia. Their typical diet consists of mammals and occasionally birds. Ok, point number 3 is the shortest type of snake is about 12 meters long. B option B is option B is 18 centimeters long or 24 centimeters long. The shortest type of snake is about 12 centimeters long. And Barbaros threat snake is thought to be the world's smallest known snake. Point number 4. The biggest crocodile is about 6 meters long, 4 meters long or 2 meters long. And the correct option is 6 centimeters long. Students look at these pictures of the tallest elephant, the longest snake, reticulated python, the shortest snake and the crocodile. Okay, question number two. Question number two is join the phrases to make sentences. Okay, these are match the columns. You have to match them. My father is, our garden is, the minaret is, the pool is. Okay, these are phrases. You have to join them to make a meaningful sentence. My father is six feet tall. Our garden is 24 feet wide. The minaret is 100 feet high. Minaret is a thin tower, a Muslim holy building from which Muslims are called to pray. And the pool is six and a half feet deep. Okay. Look at question number 3 now. Put the words in order to make sentences or questions. Okay, these words are not in the correct order. Words are given. Tall, elephant, question mark. Okay, this question mark indicates that um, this word elephant will come at the end. How? NH is capital. H is capital and this is the questions. We always begin a sentence with a capital letter. The tallest is. The high monkey house 10 feet is. In the zoo, how old bear the oldest is. Deep, the 
सिक्स एंड हाफ फीट स्विमिंग पूल इज द स्नेक लॉन्गेस्ट इज हाउ लॉन्ग थर्टी फीट इज द लॉन्ग क्रोकोडाइल पूल स्टूडेंट्स हाउ डू वी फॉर्म एनी सेंटेंस इन इंग्लिश द जनरल रूल इज वी ऑलवेज राइट द सब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट हु इज डूइंग एन एक्शन देन फॉलोड बाय अ वर्ब एंड देन वी राइट द ऑब्जेक्ट ओके um object in a sentence is always a thing or a person who uh, received the action students in english when we want to uh, get information about something then we use the um then we use the question words and we often refer to these words as wh words because they include the letter wh for example um what for example what are you doing asking for information for example if we say what's your name and we say why why um, asking for reason why do you say that and we use where for place where do you live and we use how asking for manner for condition quality for um degree like if we say how does this work how was your exam and how far is Uh, Lahore from Peshawar, and we use how for uh, length as well. Like for example, if say how long will it take? Okay, these are some W H words that we use in English. Okay, students, now look at these answers. Students, the words in a sentence must be organized um in order to give a full meaning, proper meaning, and we start any sentence with a capital letter. Answer number one is how tall is the tallest elephant? We know that tall is adjective and tallest is the superlative degree. What would be your answer to this question? How tall is the tallest elephant? The tallest elephant is about four meters tall. The monkey house is ten feet high. Okay, make a question to this sentence. And the question would be how high is the monkey house? Okay, I want you to get information about the how, the height. Answer three is how old is the oldest bear in the zoo? Question mark. Students, remember one thing. Always remember one thing. When you ask questions, like where do you live? What's your name? How old are you? We always put question mark at the end. The swimming pool is six and a half feet deep. How long is the longest snake? The crocodile pool is thirty feet long. Okay, now see. Unit number four, lesson number five, is about the teeth of sharks. Okay, this is the poem by John Kiardi. John Anthony Kiardi. was his full name and he wrote poetry for adults and for children let me read this poem first the thing about a shark is teeth one draw above one draw beneath beneath means underneath below now take a close close look do you find it has another row behind still closer here I'll hold your head. Has it a third row behind that? Now look in and look out. Oh my! I'll never know now. Well, goodbye. Students, the meaning of the title is quite simple, and it is only you know that it is about sharks and its teeth. In this poem, uh, somebody is telling another person. Okay, maybe the poet himself. uh to his friend to look inside the mouth of a shark to see how many rows of teeth are in there and students this poem rhymes uh look at these words like teeth beneath had that my goodbye and the tone um of the author is the the writer is quite humorous and funny 
Students, we cannot just get closer to shark um, just to count the teeth and without any safety. And this is the fact that sharks continually shed their teeth and they are constantly producing new teeth to replace the ones they lose. And in fact, some sharks may um, can have over 50,000 teeth over the course of their lives. And both their upper and lower jaws can have two to three or as many um, as 15 such rows. And now look at these two last lines now. Look in and look out. Oh my, I'll never know now. Well, goodbye. And the poet's friend was so dumb. He was so dumb. He was counting the teeth of the shark without knowing that sharks are not friendly with humans and at the end he was eaten by the shark in general um, sharks don't eat humans rather they feed on fish and marine mammals sharks may not hunt humans but a few species of sharks are dangerous to humans and if they took a bite they could do some serious damage you okay, see the question what happened to the poet's friend? Answer is the poet's friend was eaten by the shark. Okay, see question number two. Question number two is use these words to complete the story about the elephant. Words are body, leg, ears, trunk, and tail. Okay, this is the story. I'm going to read this story. The story is about six blind women went to the zoo. They wondered, uh, they were so furious to know what kind of an animal is an elephant. So they went into its pen. Here, P-E-N, pen mean uh, the animal enclosure. A small yard, okay. The first woman, what she did? The first woman touched its dash and said, okay, touch its leg, leg is the answer, and said, an elephant is like a tree so they were blind so um, um, the base of the tree which um, looked just like a pair of elephants legs the second woman touch its tail tail is a blank okay tail is answer tail and said an elephant is like a rope rope means rusty okay, the second woman um, said that the um, uh, tail is same as the rope and the third woman touched its body body is answer here and said an elephant is like a huge balloon and the fourth woman touched its trunk trunk means soon an elephant used the trunk for breathing smelling touching grasping and producing sound Okay, touch is trunk and said an elephant is like a drain pipe. Okay, she compared the trunk with the pipe. And the fifth woman touched its ears and said an elephant is like a boat with big sails. Okay, students, this was the story of an elephant and about six blind women. We okay, move on to unit number five. Let's check. Unit number five, lesson number one. You have to complete the dialogue using the right verb forms. These are the dialogues between Grandpa and Nadia. Grandpa, you're very quiet, Nadia. What are you doing? Doing the bracket. You have to use the present continuous tense, the ing form, and the present simple tense. And Nadia, I'm reading a storybook about space. Grandpa, do you often read space adventures? In bracket, often read is written, hints are given. Okay. Students, when we make questions in when we make questions in present simple, we use um do, we use does. We use do with the personal pronouns like you, we and they. Nadia. No, I usually read stories about animals. Grandpa, is it Sarah in the kitchen? What is she doing? Nadia, she's making a cake. Grandpa, 
Does she enjoy cooking? Grandpa is asking a question. And students, we use this with the third person singular. He, she and it. Nadia, yes, she usually makes fruit cake. Okay, she usually makes it, so this is her habit. You'll add S with the verb. But this time, she is making a chocolate cake. Grandpa, I hope she'll keep some for me. Okay, now see question number 2 at page number 24. Okay, you can see through glass, stone or steel. Students, can we see through stone? No. Can we see through steel? No. We can only see through glass. Why is it so? Because glass is transparent. Okay, allowing the light to pass through so that objects behind can be seen. Point number two, you collect dash from a field. Bricks, straw, sticks. We collect straw from the fields. Okay, it's a dried stalks of grain. Point number three is a bridge joins two sides of a valley village a mountain mountain is the correct answer okay a tiger does not have dash point number four is a, a tiger does not have spots leopard have spots tigers have stripped and the strips are like fingerprints and no two tigers have the same pattern point number five a monkey does not have horns and the swimming pool is six feet deep. Okay, we cannot say uh, the swimming pool is six feet high or tall. Okay, deep is the correct answer. Okay, question number three is complete the box with countries, nationalities, and languages. Country is Pakistan and nationality, people of Pakistan are known as Pakistani. Okay, and the official language of Pakistan is Urdu. Country is Britain and and people are British and the official language is English. Nepal, a country and nationality Nepali and the official language is Nepali. Bangladesh, Bangladeshi and national language is Bengali. Country is China and nationality is Chinese and official language is Chinese. Canada, Canadian and the language and two languages are spoken there French and English. Argentina, nationality, nationality is Argentinian and and the official language of Argentina is Spanish. Okay, so Spanish is the official language of Argentina. Argent Okay, move on to unit number 5, lesson number 2. Underline the correct preposition. Preposition is a word used to link noun, pronouns or phrases to other words within a sentence. And prepositions are through, up, down, in, into, next, from, etc, etc. Point number 1 is the magpie flew down or away broad um, broad street students in previous lesson we had studied about this word magpie here down is the correct preposition okay the magpie flew towards broad street okay here down means not away down means towards and it flew over or through the open window of number 12 it flew through it means moving in one side and it hopped it means uh, moved quickly onto the bedside table okay why onto because it picked up the necklace in its claws and then it flew up and out of the window it flew back in its nest it put the necklace in the nest next to the gold watch 
and later Dan found his football near the magpie's nest. Okay. And his father collected all the things from the nest. So down, through, on, to, up, out, in, next to, near, and from. These are all correct prepositions. Okay, now our lesson has been completed. And students, complete your homework. Sab book pe hi karna hai kaam. Except question number 3 at page number 22. Thik hai, page number 22 pe question number 3 hai. Wo notebook pe karna hai. And thanks for watching.